I'm going to start off with this diagram, um, which is about smart growth um, and where UFTI sits within the smart growth um, pillars. So, um, UFTI has been created out of a out of smart growth. Um, it's a combination of the Western Bay of Plenty District Council, Tauranga City Council, um, smart growth as itself as an entity, and um, the regional um, Bay of Plenty Regional Council. NZTA is involved in it, um, and the Housing and Urban Development Ministry are on the side. Um, so not officially joined, but sort of involved um, is probably the best way to do it. But UFTI in its very essence is about how do we fit an extra 100,000 population of people, um, 50,000 houses, 40,000 jobs, and then potentially manage up to the half million transport movements that would be created from all of that um, additional growth. And that's essentially what UFTI is about. It's about a long-term vision for the Western Bay of Plenty sub-region. Um, and we have the advantage of setting a 50-year vision and then working backwards to go and look at how we achieve it. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. So while UFTI will set a vision and set a delivery plan um, about how you achieve that vision, it's really then up to the partners. So it's about Tauranga City Council and through projects like the Te Papa Peninsula work, Western Bay of Plenty um, District Council, um, the Bay of Plenty Regional Council, NZTA and other partners, both public and private, um, working together to actually implement those programs. So UFTI sets a vision, sets out a potential delivery plan, and then it's up for those partners to actually deliver it over time. And within that, there will be wriggle room. So things will change um, long before I've left the region, hopefully one day. <laughs> Um, so we have three deliverables as part of UFTI. So the first one is the foundation report. Um, the foundation report is published. You'll find it on the UFTI website, which is UFTI.org. Um, and that basically has our problem statements, which I'm going to talk about, um, the outcomes that we're trying to achieve, and then the evidence base that relates to the cause and effect of those problem statements as much as possible. Um, there's still some gaps in there and um, which we need to fill out. The interim report, which is what we're currently working towards, is the next level of detail, but it's really about the options and the programs in both land use and transport um, and the integration of both of those to then um, deliver programs that would achieve, um, address the problems and achieve out the outcomes that we're seeking. So the interim report will focus on the top scoring programs um, and some of the components, so the cost ranges, the PT services that might be required, the cycling um, and other things like that. The final report is pulling the whole thing together and is much more around testing the best scoring programs with tools such as the Tauranga Transport Model and then the proposed staging of the delivery. Um, and probably most importantly, how you're going to fund all of this. Um, because 50 years, we get to think quite big, um, but then the funding pulls us back into reality. So um, when you kind of think Let's Get Welly Moving is a $6.4 billion program, um, you know, I've heard the figure of $4 billion floated around for Tauranga. Um, so it's not, um, it's not small chunks of money. 